what it's going to be is I'm going to handle the tread. And so mm -hmm. all you have to think about is running. I'm going to start it. I'm going to stop it. The only thing you have to worry about is keeping your foot strike on this imaginary yellow line right okay. here. So I'm going to start the tread, get you running, make sure you're up speed, start the test. And then it's going to be about a 30 to 45 second capture. You're going to see a little circle up there. Once it changes colors, it's going to be green. And then once it turns blue, then it's going to be done capturing. And then I'm going to stop it. So I'm going to get started at 6.2. This is our running profile. Economy necessarily just means how much energy we're using. Elastic exchange is a combination between economy, our running profiles, and our mechanical work. And then after we go through our three speeds, we'll kind of dive into the stride parameters mm -hmm. a little bit and learn a little bit more about your stride and then see if there are any improvements we can make. Okay. You're good right there in the trap. This is our joules per kilogram per minute. Generally, the closer to 2.7 and under we want to get. This is pretty much how much energy we're using to propel ourselves forward. And so you are in the A category, which means fairly efficient. Everybody wants A's. Elastic exchange. This is a combination, again, of our economy, our running profile, and our mechanical work. And so just based off of these, before we get into stride parameters, I'd probably guess our cadence is pretty high mm -hmm. and that our body weight force into the ground, so how much force we're putting into the ground is probably low. And so when we think about speed, it's stride length by cadence. And so if we're not using a lot of that power to get our stride length out, then our cadence has to speed up mm -hmm. for that. Uh, to keep up with it. But you are a quick stepper. That pretty much means you're the least injured. Ideally for say like half marathoners, marathoners, long distance, we want to be an eco sprinter. That's a combination between quick steppers and power racers. And so the only I'd say difference before we go into stride parameters is a little bit more stiffness in the legs. Uh, so you can kind of see right when you're planting you're giving a lot of cushion. So cadence is very high, or rear foot, contact time is good, forward lean is good, overstride is good, vertical displacement, we're staying a little lower to the ground, braking forces are good. So braking forces are pretty much during our stride, how much are we basically putting the brakes on mm -hmm. rather than propelling ourselves forward. When we're naturally heel strikers, there's gonna be a little bit of it. Right. But if you get the timing right, then you can really kind of make the roll mm -hmm. work for you. And it looks like your timing's pretty good uh, because you don't have a lot of braking forces. Vertical force, this is the body weight that I was talking about. Um, that would be an area that we'd probably wanna work on. And then lateral forces are good as well. Then step separation's neutral. So that doesn't mean you're running too wide or look like you're a hockey player skating or it doesn't mean you're crossing over. Uh, looks like on our left knee, we're a little bit varus, so it points out a little bit. If you don't really have knee injuries, I wouldn't say there's that much to worry about. But if you do start to get knee issues, then you can start to think of strengthening the insides of our thighs. Joint loading, you're doing really good. For elites, we generally want to stay where this purple line is right here. And you can kind of see that you're within those. Your forward lean's good but I would try and bring your knees through a little bit more aggressively. And so if we're just kind of gliding along, that's good for kind of longevity and it's keeping you very healthy and your joints healthy. But if we're wanting to get faster, if we're wanting to improve on our times, I would definitely recommend cues, just bringing our knees through. So once our knee comes back, bring it up forward and then just stomping down, like almost okay. like we're pushing through the treadmill, okay. rather than just kind of letting ourselves go forward. Okay. Do you want to do one more of this and try out that cue, see what yeah. happens? It's probably going to feel pretty weird. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take some practice. So we're going to go back to 13 kilometers an hour, which is 8.1 and 7.25. Stop the tread. How'd that feel? 
Definitely feels different. <laughs> Look how much energy you're not using now. Because before you were at high 2.9s and now we're 275. Before you're in the 25s, 36. And you brought yourself more into that eco sprinter range. So our cadence was still kind of high up there, but our vertical body force into the ground, we brought a lot closer to being optimal. So we brought these up. And two, your cadence came a little higher, but your braking forces came really down. And so really it feels counterintuitive that we're using more energy <laughs> to push through the ground, but over a long distance, you saved a lot of energy.